Helen Skelton, 38, shocked fans when she announced the split from her husband Richie Myler, 31, mere weeks ago. In a new interview following the announcement, the Country File presenter shared a cryptic message when she was asked what she has learned from managing her hectic schedule along with family life. Helen and Richie married in 2013, and share Ernie, 6, Louie, 5 and Elsie Kate, 5 months. Only having had her daughter three months prior, Helen took to Instagram the end of April to announce the end of her marriage. With this in mind, Helen was asked what she has learned from balancing her work life and family life. She replied, don't compare yourself to anyone else, no one knows what happens behind closed doors. Lists and diaries are good too. If I write down things I need to do I feel like they are a weight off my brain, she told Go Outdoors. In her previous message confirming the split, Helen wrote on Instagram, Very sad to say that Richie and I are no longer a couple. He has left the family home. We will be doing our best to co-parent our small children. She concluded the message with two broken heart emojis. Trying to put the drama behind her, Helen was recently seen celebrating Steph McGovern's 40th birthday. Helen looked amazing as she posed alongside the likes of Russell Kane, Carrie Kedona, John White, and Denise Van Alten. The Country File host sported a ruffled cropped white top, exposing her taut abs paired with low-rise skinny black jeans. Adding color to her outfit, Helen wore duck egg stiletto heels, while styling her blonde dresses in a straight look. Denise took to Instagram to share pictures of the Steph's packed lunch team as they posed at the party. In the pictures, there were two including Helen, who appeared to be in high spirits as she partied the night away. The star previously revealed she gave birth to her son Louis all alone in France, with only her eldest child Ernie for company, as Richie was in England at the time. In a terrifying turn of events, a team of medical professionals couldn't make it to her on time, which meant that she had to give birth on the kitchen floor surrounded by firemen. She told Lorraine Kelly last November, nobody wants a load of gorgeous French firemen at their feet while they're delivering a baby, which is what I had. They'd never done that before and were so excited. I just said, get back around my head please. The presenter welcomed the former couple's daughter earlier this year.